Hardware design tip number one. You can have crosstalk on boards running at a low frequency. First, what is crosstalk? When you are doing PCB layout and when you route tracks very close to each other, then what sometimes may happen is that a signal running through one track can create a lot of noise and uh, this noise can be picked up by the other track. And sometimes this noise can be so high that it can change levels of the signals on the other tracks. For example, if you route a reset signal close to a noisy track, then this noisy track can change the level on your reset signal and your board may, for example, randomly reset. Many people think that this crosstalk, this noise between signals is only happening on high speed boards. And many people think that we need to be careful about crosstalk only when routing very fast interfaces or buses, for example, running at 300 megahertz, 800 megahertz or more. This is not true. Crosstalk doesn't depend on bus frequency. Crosstalk depends a lot on how sharp are the edges on our signals. You know, how fast your signal is changing, for example, from low to high or from high to low. Even when you are doing a layout for 5 MHz microcontroller or even when you are routing tracks for 1 Hz signal, these low frequency signals can create noise on the tracks routed close to them. If your board is not designed properly, even changing a signal uh, level on a GPIO pin can create crosstalk high enough to cause a random reset, uh, generate false interrupts or damage information transferred through your data bus. Be super careful about crosstalk. There are a number of techniques how to minimize it. For example, use a uh, solid ground plane and bring it as close as possible to your tracks or slow down the signal edges. For example, sometimes signal properties can be set in the microcontroller or processor registers. If it's not possible, you may want to add, for example, series termination resistor. If you would like to learn more about crosstalk and you would like to understand this topic, then have a look at some of my videos, which I have created and posted on YouTube. You will learn when the crosstalk will happen, how it looks, how to simulate it. We will measure the crosstalk on real boards. And also you will learn how to minimize crosstalk by doing simple changes in your circuit and PCB. Links to these videos are in the description. Okay, so don't forget, you can have crosstalk on boards running at low frequency. Why? Because crosstalk depends a lot on the speed of rising falling signal edge. It depends a lot on how fast the signal changes from low to high or from high to low. By the way, uh, some of my very first boards had a lot of crosstalk problems. I learned about crosstalk the hard way. You don't have to watch the videos, they will help you a lot. Thank you.